About six out of 10 Americans rely on their daily cup of coffee. It can be loaded with great health benefits, but for some side effects, maybe the jitters, caffeine headaches, have them reconsidering maybe taking a coffee break. A product called Dandy Blend claims it's an herbal caffeine-free alternative that promises no withdrawal symptoms, so we had to put it to the test. <laughs> Took three coffee lovers, gave them the chance to try it out. Our first tester was Emily, who says she drinks between 16 to 24 ounces of coffee every day. Without coffee, she says, she has irritability, headaches, and low energy. Oh. Yes. Emily, what would you think of this? The caffeine withdrawal was not great. I definitely felt I was missing that extra boost of energy. Okay, so are you are, are you now going to be, hey, maybe substitute one cup a day with this, or? I wouldn't go out of my way okay. to get it. Okay, okay, okay. There we go, sometimes yeah. people yeah. feel a little pressured, but, but yeah, but you didn't hate it. Didn't, didn't hate it. No, I didn't hate it. But seriously, the flavor was pretty good. It's just I love real coffee, and I you want. You know what? I okay. do too. Yeah. Okay. I get it. I okay. get it. I think well, we okay. all but do. But for That's... some, we depend too much. I want to move on to Amanda really quickly okay. because Amanda drinks between 16 and 40 ounces of coffee a day. Wow. Okay. Amanda. She can't remember the last time she didn't have it. So Amanda, how did you do with this? Actually, I was a little skeptical about it at first. Uh, the smell was a little different, um, but. It really wasn't that bad. I drank it black first, uh, and it was definitely a little bitter, but I added my creamer to it that I usually add to my coffee, and it really wasn't that much different. All right. Well, Daniel says he drinks up to 48 ounces a day. That a boy. Wow. He says he feels <laughs> sluggish and gets headaches without the coffee. So, Daniel, what do you think of it? Uh, I think it's not bad. It's actually pretty good. I didn't notice a difference flavor-wise, except for like a little bit of a bitter aftertaste, but it's like a flash in the pan, and then it's just fine. Well, let's try it, Docs. We have, we, we can put ourselves to the test. We'll see if we agree with these three. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers it has a different aroma, that's for sure. Yes. Good old dandelion. <laughs> it doesn't taste that different from coffee. Right? But and you add the coffee's normal like cream or anything in So, it. and the, the ingredients in this, are extracts of roasted barley, rye, chicory root, dandelion root, and sugar beet. So good ingredients. I th hey, it, it's Thanks interesting. But here, here's the one thing I, I will always tell people. People feel a lot of guilt about enjoying coffee. Coffee's the number one source of antioxidants in the American diet. I mean, the, the coffee, think about what coffee is, is it's water filtered through these coffee beans. And, Unless you add a ton of sugar and everything else to it, and of course, That's if you have side thinking. effects and it yeah. doesn't work for your system, but I, I see too many people feeling guilty about enjoying a think, cup of coffee. I think it's because most people do put a lot of sugar and a lot of other stuff, a lot of head nods, a lot of other stuff in it. I'll yeah. tell you what I would do with this, because I love my morning coffee. Mm -hmm. I, I, I just love coffee. You'd but put I, it like a I wouldn't shot of hate drinking in this in the evening. Yep. It's, it yeah. actually has yeah. a nice soothing aroma. It's like a herbal. Decaf. I mean, this is mm. what it, it the taste is like decaf. It is coffee. dandy lion. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for, for trying it out.